Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is currently, let's see what time it is, 3.40 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. It's a little chilly outside today. It's not too bad. Um, it's not probably cold enough for the heated vest, but it's definitely too cold for just a hoodie. Let's see what the temperature is. I'm going to say it's like 40 or something. Um, we're supposed to get snow showers tonight. Oh, it's 39. Oh, no, it, it's, you guys look, it's 40. Can you see this? I, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I like guessed exactly right, it's 40. And, oh, I thought we were supposed to have like a wintry mix, but it says rain expected around 4.30 p.m. Snow may mix in. Last night, it said on here that we were supposed to get some kind of wintry mix. But now it's saying for tonight, rain with some snow mixing in overnight, areas of patchy fog. And then tomorrow is high of 39. Cloudy with rain and snow in the morning, remaining cloudy in the afternoon. Temps nearly steady in the mid to upper 30s. Yeah, so uh, that's the rest of the weekend. And make my little announcement right now. I am going to uh, do this vlog and then I'm gonna take the rest of the weekend off. I actually just posted it in the Vlogarinos group on the community tab on my vlog, on the community tab for my drama channel, and on Twitter. I posted it across the board and I said, I'm vlogging today and then I'm taking the rest of the weekend off on all of my channels and I will be back on Monday. I'll be back fresh on Monday is what I think I said. So I've already got all of my uh, Monday videos all planned out of what I'm gonna make and things like that. So. Um, I think I'm just going to take the rest of the weekend off and just kind of relax and stuff like that. We just actually got back from running just a few errands um, because there were a few things that I needed to do or I needed to do. And um, I had to pick up this new prescription, which I'll talk about my doctor's appointment in just a second. Um, but I needed to pick up this prescription and then I needed to go and get a few other things. So, yeah. So, uh it's been a good day so far. I slept in a little bit today. Alex went to bed so early last night. I mean, he was like, I laid down at, I think it was like 6.30 or something like that to uh, take a little bit of a nap. And I slept until about eight and then I got up and um, I was like, are you getting up? Do you want to watch some TV or something? He's like, no, I'm still so tired. He slept all the way through, you guys, all the way through the night and then got up early this morning and took little Boo Radley out. And then he's been watching this show. He started it like two days ago. Actually, somebody suggested it to me in the comments, I think of the vlog. It's called Griselda. And um, he is like, been binge watching it well other than last night because he slept through the night but he watched like one episode like two nights ago and then today like all day he's been binge watching Griselda he said it's really really good he is loving it so he said it's two episodes left and then I said to him what are you gonna watch after that what did he say why can't I remember what he said oh he th I think he th said he's gonna watch the bear because people always re recommend to us the bear and Ted Lasso so he said he's gonna watch The Bear. I am trying to binge watch, um, obviously, Vanderpump Rules because the season 11 premiere comes out um, on Tuesday and I wanna be completely caught up. I still have like 50 some episodes to finish. So I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but I'm hoping it'll happen. Um, and on top of that, it's crazy because I like last night, I like watched so many episodes of Vanderpump Rules, but I also got caught up on Southern Hospitality. I also got caught up on something else. Also listened to a little bit of my audiobook, and I also started a new graphic novel. I'm reading like four graphic novels at the same time. Also took a nap yesterday, and um, so yeah, I had a, and like at like 12 o'clock, I like wanted to put on like fresh, clean, like sweatpants and a sweatshirt. And so I'm like, I'm gonna take a shower, so, um, I had taken a shower before my doctor's appointment and then went upstairs last night. Alex was like dead asleep. He never woke up through any of it. I did like a whole like spa routine in the bathroom, like you know, with my face and stuff like that. And then I took like a hot shower and then got out and lotioned up, did another face routine with like moisturizers and stuff on my face and then put on like, like queen, uh, queen, <laughs> put, on, put on clean um, pajamas and stuff. And then I, um, I'm like having problems with our pillows right now. I'm not loving the pillows that we had. I don't know if it's because of the pillowcases that they're in or whatever, but they all of a sudden seem like 10 times poofier than they were before. And I've loved these pillows forever. I kind of, to be honest with you, I think in making the bed, 
I think I like exchanged Alex's pillows for my pillows, if that makes sense. Because his pillows have always been like poofier and might have been a little bit flatter and I don't, I use two pillows to sleep on. We both have like two pillows, like a, like a pillow with a pillowcase and like a pillow with a pillow sham. I use both of the pillows, he only uses one. And I'm noticing now that like my head is like this when I'm sleeping, so I don't know if I shifted them out, but when I was looking at the pillows today making the bed, I was like, well his pillow doesn't look any bigger really or smaller than mine does. So last night I got online, was doing a lot of research about pillows last night. The last pillows that we got, I think was from that brand Buffy, where we also got a comforter and I love I love the comforter. I love the pillows when we first got them. This is the first time I've ever noticed that like the pillows seem really big to me, like when we sleep on them. And so, um, so last night I got online and I was like researching these pillows and stuff like that and I ended up buying two new pillows. They were expensive. I like researched like the best pillows in the market and all this kind of stuff. I, it was some stupid article that I read that probably was just like a sales pitch thing, you know? But these pillows are rated like, this is what I was just telling Alex on the way home. These pillows were rated like an A plus. They rated like five or I think it was like 12 pillows that they rated or something. And the only con of these pillows was like, you know, they did the pros and the cons. The only con was that they, you could only buy them online. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I'm not sure if I believe this article. But then when I went to Amazon to buy them, they were like, had like 4,000 ratings and all the ratings were like four and a half out of five. So I was like, they've got to be pretty good, right? And so I bought these pillows, but they were expensive. These pillows were expensive. Like it's very important to me, my sleep, I think we all know is very important to me. And so I ended up spending like 50 something dollars on these pillows like each. Um, I think the Buffy pillows were about the same amount of money and I loved those and I love the comf comforter. Um, so I bought those pillows last night. I think they're supposed to come tomorrow. I think they're supposed to come tomorrow. And, um, was getting some, uh, um, well, I already told Tanya what I'm getting her for her sobriety birthday because I asked her if she would use it. So I got online on Amazon. This has got to be like in the last six months because I've looked on there before. You know, I buy a lot of t-shirts on Amazon. I buy a lot of like band t-shirts and things like that. And, and I'm usually like, it's like if I buy like, let's say five t-shirts, like four of them I really like and like the fifth one is like too big or doesn't fit right or whatever. Um, and so, but... I have found that there are like a lot of like small like t-shirt shops and stuff on, on Amazon that I really, really like. And so I was like trying to find something for, cause Tanya's sobriety birthday is coming up this next week. And so I was trying to find something for her and I was like Googling like, you know, like recovery gifts, sobriety gifts and things like that. And all these t-shirts started coming up, which is interesting because the only time I've ever seen like that you can get like sobriety t-shirts and things like that that I've I mean I've seen people like out in public with them very very rarely you know but that will say like sober on it or something like that um but you know, the only places I've seen them are at like recovery club houses and like at like you know like a convention like a recovery convention or something like that I've never just like seen like I've seen them online but they're like cheesy when I see them online a couple people have sent me some t-shirts through the years which I really appreciate um, so I got online and, or I got on Amazon, I was looking up recovering gifts and it like just like started pulling up all these t-shirts and really cool t-shirts too. Um, and so I bought like, I think I bought like three or four for me. And then I had talked to Tommy by that point last night and I was like, you know, I was going to get you like a recovery like hoodie or like t-shirt, but I didn't know like if you would wear something, you know, like people are very specific about that kind of stuff, you know, and she's like, I've always lived out loud, you know, like I would love something like that. And so I got her um, a hoodie with a recovery saying on it. I actually, I went in and I bought, so a lot of the recovery sayings that they, that they have are like very specific to 12 step programs. And then, um, others aren't like I got one that says I thought I could wear it for like I got like a couple that I thought I could wear for like like to ultra music festival like one says like sober AF on it and it's just like in this like block and then it just says sober AF it's very plain I think I got the hoodie in that too and then I got um some recovery sayings like one day at a time and um uh what was the other one that I got Oh, there was one that got, it says like, <laughs> it's like sexy, sober, they have them for men and women, sexy, sober, 
it's like four S's. Sexy, sober, something, savage, or something like that. I got that one. And then I got Tanya. I think I got Tanya too. That have like specific sayings on that I thought that she would really, really like. So I got those as well. And then I got some, so I did a little bit of Amazon shopping last night. I'll probably show those t-shirts when they, um, when they come. I'll probably do like a sober, you know, t-shirt haul or something like that and show them on here. Because they're supposed to come middle of next week or something like that. Beginning of next week. I can't remember. So anyway. So yeah, I did that last night. And then, um, and I, I think I had watched Southern Hospitality before. I watched something else too. But anyway, yeah, and then last night I just was so relaxed. My friend Nikki, this was so sweet. I um, So I was getting ready to go to my doctor's appointment yesterday and I was like texting with Alex because Alex had this meeting yesterday and he didn't know what time. He thought it, it went from like eight to like two but he didn't know if it would go longer or whatever. My doctor's appointment was at three yesterday. And so Alex had said to me the day before, he was like, if I get off in time, like I'll come and pick you up and whatever. And I was like, okay. So, I'm like in the shower, or I had taken a shower, I was like in the bathroom, like, you know, putting the lotion on my face. And I, was kind of, I have this routine I do like every day. Like for the longest time, I just kind of like put on a vino lotion. But now, I'm like very structured in what I do. I do that thermal face spray on my face. And then I do the Alpen um, under eye lotion. And then I use some kind of face moisturizer. Right now, I'm using the, I need to buy like an, uh, like a, it's okay. It's not a bad moisturizer, but it's not my favorite in the world. It's just like, the only one I have besides I bought I bought some like like the, the hems I bought again um, even though I don't love it it's not horrible um, but it's easy to pump I like it it would be easy to travel with and then I bought another one um, I, I need to probably invest in like a nice like daily moisturizer because I've been doing that every day and then I put on these yes to cucumber eye patches, which I think are probably the best eye patches I've ever used in my entire life. And um, and then after that, I leave those on for like 10 minutes. And then after that, I spray my face. I think it's with Glow Recipe. It's like this fruity, like, like super juice. And then I spray it with the Tatcha Dewey Mist Spray. And then I'm like ready to go for the day. <laughs> But I've been doing that every morning. I've been like really, really good about that. So I was standing there in the bathroom and I was like listening to music and I had my jeans on and I was like doing my like face routine, right? And like our cameras started going off. And so I was like, who is at our front door? And so then Alex texted me and he was like, you know, like there's somebody at the front door. And I was like, okay, so like I went to the front door. I like, I was like this. <laughs> I like, because I was running because I wanted to make sure I got to the door before they left, right? And so I came down here and it was this woman. She was so sweet. I was like, I am so sorry. I'm like, in jeans, you know, like, and I'm like this. And she had this, a big, like, uh, arrangement, kind of like one of those edible arrangement things, you know, that has like fruit and stuff in it that you can eat. And I was like, oh my God, this is so sweet. I was like, I had no clue who it was from or anything, right? And so, um, I like brought it inside and then like I went upstairs and I got like changed and Alex was like, he like messaged me and he was like, so you answer the door? He was like, on, oh, so this was a thing. So Alex got done with his meeting and he was like, I'm going to come pick you up and take you to your appointment. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Because I was getting ready to get like an Uber and stuff because I didn't think he was going to get done in time. So Alex texted me like as soon as I got upstairs to the bathroom, he was like, so you answer the door with no shirt on now? <laughs> I was like, okay, stop watching me through the cameras. So anyway, I was like, well, I was afraid that she was going to leave. So anyway. So I open, I, so I put my uh, like uh, t-shirt on. So I wore a t-shirt because I knew that they were gonna have to like do blood pressure and all that kind of stuff. I ended up having to get some blood work done yesterday. I didn't know if I would or not. So I thought it'll just be easier to wear a t-shirt. So um, I got dressed, got my coat and stuff on because I knew Alex was on his way. And I went downstairs and I like opened the card and it was from Nikki. It was so sweet. And she was, you know, because she was like, you know, like we've been talking about like me like struggling the last week and a half and stuff like that last couple weeks i mean it's, i've been struggling for you know let's just be honest two years you know but doing doing much better the last couple days but she knew the last week has been really tough and so she and her husband sent me one of those edible arrangements and she was like I was gonna send you candy, but I know that you're trying to like get ready to start your weight loss journey and all because I've talked about for 15 years, right? And it was so sweet and so like I put it in the refrigerator and then when I came home, I wanted to have it like in a tub because I didn't want it to just like have it in the refrigerator and then have it like get ruined. So I like brought a tub out and I like took each thing off. It was like chocolate covered strawberries. It was like chocolate covered strawberries with like frosting on them. It was 
chocolate covered melon balls. Um, it was all kinds of stuff. Chocolate covered pineapple. But there was these big things on there, right? They were like this big. And I thought they were cookies, honestly. That was what I was like the most excited about. I was like, oh my god, that, because it was like half chocolate and half frosting, and it had like, you know, and so I was like, oh my god, these were like cookies with this like basket. I thought they were cookies, right? So late last night, it's like 3.30 in the morning, right? And I'm like, I'm so hungry, and so I went and I brought out that, that fruit bin <laughs> that Nikki had sent me. And so I was like, I had like a couple, you know, chocolate covered melon balls. There, it, everything was delicious in it. And, um... And so then, um, I think they're called edible arrangements is what they're called. So anyway, so I'm like, oh, I want one of these cookies. So I've been into this cookie. It was not a cookie. It was this huge piece of pineapple that was half covered in chocolate, half covered in frosting. Oh my God, you guys, it was so good. Oh my God, it was so good. I love pineapple anyway. So, so thank you to uh, Nikki and her husband for sending that to me. I already talked to her about it and everything, but it was so sweet that she sent that to me. So, so yeah, so Alex um, picked me up uh, for, so thank you again, Nikki. Um, but, so Alex, um, and, and thank you also, I just want to say, for all the, the kind words and the encouragement that you guys have left me in DMs and especially in the comment sections, the Vlogarinos group, you know, just like emails, everything that people have sent me the last couple days has been like, hey, I know you're struggling. And just a lot of people have shared personal stories of situations that they've gone through and you know, a lot of things like that and friends or family of theirs have gone through. And I just want to say, I really, really appreciate it. It's helped so much. Um, the last two days, yesterday and the day before, I felt so much better. Um, and today I feel, I, I physically am not feeling great today. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, I usually like wake up and like an hour later, I feel a little bit better. Um, I've been up for a couple hours now and I'm just, I feel like I'm still dragging. So um, I'm sure I'll catch my mojo as soon as the sun sets because I'm a bit of a vampire. But anyway, um, but like mentally, I feel really good today and very happy and content. So I don't know, maybe just getting it out. Like somebody said to me on the video, they said, left a comment and said, maybe just talking about it was really helpful. And I was like, I think I said that in the video, but no, in all honesty, like the comment was sweet. But in all honesty, um, I think just talking about it, and, and this is the other thing, it, it wasn't just talking about it on camera, because there's a lot of things that are specific to everything that I've been going on that I didn't share on video, that I then did share with people in my life and things like that, and that was like super, super helpful to just, you know, like Alex and I had a, like, well, we've had a couple very lengthy conversations about stuff. Aw, there she is! Well, hi, she just sits in the street, three months old. <laughs> she's trying to figure everything out. No, she's looking for Boo Radley. <laughs> yeah. She is so sweet. I can't believe she sits so well. She's such a good walker. Boo Radley is still to this day. He cannot stand walking. It's my neighbor with her new dog. Oh, hey, there's my favorite neighbors. Oh, I shouldn't say that because she's my favorite, favorite neighbor. <laughs> I never see you. I tell your husband I see him all the time and she never come out in the winter. Yes. Well, I saw you from my kitchen window last night after I'd seen him earlier. <laughs> When it's 20 and below, you don't come out like me, right? <laughs> Look how well behaved she is. She looks like she's bored of them. Yeah. Uh, is, oh, same as yours? Aww. Sounds like you're gonna get a new best friend. They sold that quick. They sold that quick. Oh, they didn't? Usually they go like that in here. Like literally before they're even listed. Oh, I wonder why they were doing all that work over there. <laughs> oh, there's more dogs coming. Uh. <laughs> Bye, guys.
She is still sitting in the street. She is so sweet. You know, they say that uh, rescues find their owners, pick their owners. You know that? I mean, look at her. She is probably one of the most well-behaved dogs I've ever seen. Yeah. This dog is literally... I mean, you've been on my videos before. I could show her, but I don't want to. Um, you can if you want. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll come over and we'll do a little uh, interview with her someday. Okay. <laughs> She's so sweet. I did mention at some point that we might do a walkthrough of your, fly, or your plant room because you're so into the plant. Yeah, I would definitely do that. Would you do that? Yeah. Okay. I know, you love your plants. <laughs> yeah, I can talk all day about them. Aww. Okay, come on, Luca. She's so sweet. <laughs> See you later. See, it's a little bit nicer, and then all my neighbors come out. It's so sweet. It's so nice to see them, and, um... Her dog that she rescued is, like, three months old, and literally, like, so, it's, like, this big, okay? And she's all like black and white spots and very sweet. And um, she looks kind of like a mix between like, I don't even really know what to say. Like between like maybe like, this is gonna sound like a weird mix, but like a pit bull and like a lab and like a pug or something, I don't know. She's kind of like short, you know? But anyway, um, so my other dog, my other neighbor is that like, I, they're the ones I see walk in the neighborhood all the time. They have a, like a, gray golden doodle and he's young too he's like two or i think he's like two or three and no i think he's like one and a half or two he's pretty young but he's very well behaved and like sits at their side when he stops and stuff and he even was going a little bit crazy for her so and she just was sitting in the street <laughs> just sat right down the street was just like looking around so well behaved she was so sweet i miss seeing my neighbors every day it's so nice so yeah so alex picked me up um and what was I saying? I think I was saying thank you for all the nice stuff, you know, and it's just been like, you know, I had, oh, that was what I was saying, that like Alex and I have had some really good conversations and, um, and, you know, I, I'm what, I know this is gonna sound silly, but like in Vanderpump Rules, like I'm watching like Ariana talk a lot about like having depression and what she's going through and stuff like that and, and why she doesn't share with people and that she doesn't feel safe. I don't necessarily feel like my close relationships, it's not safe. I don't feel like that at all. I don't relate to that sentiment. But I do think that there's a point where it's like you don't want to be a burden to people or you, in your head you're like, well, this has been going on for so long. Like, you know, like I'm sure people think that I should just be over it at this point or, you know, whatever. And then like and sharing it on video and then the just unbelievably positive response that I got from sharing it and then sharing it with Alex and he just obviously was so kind and compassionate just like you know whatever I can do and you know Tanya and Mel and Nikki and Valerie and just you know my sponsor everybody's just been so unbelievably you know kind and caring and I'm just like I don't know you know but it really kind of helped me get over that hump and um it's weird, like, January has been, like, the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows for me. Like, you know, being in Mexico was fantastic and spending time with Alex and stuff, and then I came back, and then just kind of, like, how I start this. And I, and I kind of feel like going into February, like, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I'll be honest with you, I don't know that I'm not going to take a day off Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And then, like, my goal is, like, in February, let's just start fresh. Let's, you know, like, I always have to do it, like, on the first day of, like, the month or whatever. I don't know why, or, like, my sobriety birthday. But I'm kind of like, I've been aiming for like the 1st of February is like this restart button, you know? And um, so I don't know, like Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday I may. Uh, now Monday I think I'm gonna be, <laughs> I didn't I just say at the beginning of this video that I'm coming back fresh on Monday? That's my plan. But I don't know that it, like I won't film a bunch of videos on Monday. We also have marriage counseling on Monday, so how many videos I film will be dependent on what time I get up and how I get started and stuff like that. But um, I wanna talk about my weight on Monday. Um, in a video on my Peter Dustoff channel, and I have a bunch of other videos that I want to film too. So I might not do an hour long drama video. I've noticed, like, you know, doing the longer drama videos when I'm not filming them late at night, it's way too cold out here to film them late at night. And then doing, you know, like a 45 minute to an hour vlog and whatever, like, the, it's like, 
it's like increasing my time, you know, over time and time. And so I've got to be like better with like time management going into February. But I don't know, I may take a day or, you know, whatever off and then in February I just like start fresh. But Monday I'm planning on filming videos. I'll probably film a little bit of something every day. This um, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. I think Wednesday is the last day of February, January, right? And then, yeah, it is, I know that. And then Thursday, um, let's see. Is Thursday the last day? Oh no, Wednesday. Wednesday's the 31st. And Thursday's the first. So, you know, going into February, starting fresh, starting to post on a regular basis. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna take a day off here and there, but I will, you know, let you guys know if I do that. But anyway, I um so yeah, it's just it was it was really helpful and I'm like, you know, to share it and then the response from everybody and then being able to even go into more detail about specifically how I felt with, you know, um you know, all the people personally in my life, and it just was really, really cathartic for me. And um, so, yeah, I feel kind of like, I don't necessarily feel like I'm 100% on the other side, but I feel like I'm like starting to like move, you know, I've been moving through it for so long, but I have felt kind of like stuck in that process and I've, I'm starting to see a lot of hope on the other side. So thank you for listening because it really means the world to me. Okay. So yesterday, Alex took me to my doctor's appointment. It was just my annual checkup and um, I think I go, it was like my... So I have a big annual and then I see him like every six to nine months. My next appointment's in like September. It was supposed, he, I, I said, do I need to set something up? And he was like, I mean, we can set something up annually or you can come back in six months or whatever. And so I set something up in September um, because, you know, like, I don't know if we're going to go somewhere for my birthday. And then Alex's, we're going to Belgium for the music festival. I don't know which weekend we're going or whatever. It's like two weekends. I don't know when we're going there, how long we're going there. And then if we do something for our anniversary in August, I have no pl idea. We haven't planned any of these trips yet, so I don't know if we're going to or not. And then, um, so I was like, let's just plan it. And set so I set it for September. So the appointment went really, really well. My blood pressure is great. Um, heart rate is great. All that kind of stuff is great. I mean, ev ev everything with my physical checkup went fantastic. He, so we talked about my sleep and the trazodone. And um, he's like, this is like the second time that you brought this up to me. And I'm like, yeah, like I'm like, it's just, I get, it will work one night and then kind of the next night and then not the next three nights. I said, I'm really struggling with it. I said like, you know, I was, I thought I had kind of like figure out the system and I would like take it and go right to bed. And that worked for like a couple days or a week. And then that kind of stopped working. And sometimes it does. And so, I mean, it's, I said, there's no consistency to it. And then I said, you know, sometimes it takes me like two hours to go to bed. And he suggested maybe like taking it two hours before I go to bed. But sometimes I take it and I fall asleep in half an hour. Sometimes I take it and it doesn't work at all. Sometimes I don't take it and I fall right to sleep. There's literally no consistency with it. So, um, you know, being in recovery, it's hard because there's only like, you know, certain sleep aids that I can take and stuff like that. So he put me, he said, I'm going to have you try something else. It's like, there's like three in the same kind of category as Trazodone. Um, one of them makes you, uh, gain weight. And so he's like, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna try that one. So he prescribed me this other one, which I picked up today. It starts with a D. I don't remember what it's called, but he said it's very similar to Trazodone. He said that some people have better, uh, responses to reactions to that than they do to Trazodone. So he said, you know, try that, um, and then see which one works better for you. But he said they're like identical pretty much. Like they're very similar to each other. So we'll see. I'm going to take that tonight and we'll see what happens with that. Um, and then we talked a lot about my weight. So I put on quite a bit of weight. Um, and I'm going to talk about this on Monday on my Peter Dostoff channel. But I think, like, I, because I, I, I've already got all the notes and stuff for the video that I want to make. But I know what my lowest was. I have been gravitating between about 203 and 207 before I went on vacation. I came back on vacation. Before I left on vacation, I was like 207, 210, something like that. Like 210 was the highest, but I was like gravitating more towards 27. I had lost some weight in that time since I've been back. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the food difference. I don't know if it's that I'm not being active. I don't know if it's just that I'm like emotionally eating like crazy because I've been so stressed out and just really struggling, but I put on quite a bit of weight. Like, I mean, I put on like, like 10 to 15 pounds. So 
He's very concerned about my weight. My doctors have been wanting me to be below, um, to be below 200 pounds for, I mean, the last year. They've like really, really wanted that. And he's like, okay, we've got to start this. Like, I'm really concerned, you know, blah, 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 whatever. He was like, you know, that this has been something. Oh my God, I can't believe that I'm at the 30 minute mark already. Um, and, you know, I said, yeah, my goal is to like start on Monday and, and my goal was to start last Monday and the Monday before that, you know, and whatever. And um, I said it to Alex on the way home today where I was talking. He was like, well, I thought you were going to start it last Monday. And you were, like, really serious about it. And I was like, I was. And then I, like, changed my mind. There's no good excuse. I mean, I can make up the excuse that, like, I was struggling. It's emotional. Eating, all that kind of stuff. I know everything I need to do. I know emotionally how to take care of myself and who to talk to when I'm struggling. I know what to have in the house, what not to have in the house. I know that I need to be active. I know... I'm going to talk about this on Monday in my video, so I'm not going to get into a whole in-depth about it. But anyway, so the doctor was very much like... I mean, Alex is very supportive of me, but he also is very challenging to me, which is, I think, great and a partner. You know, he's like, well, I mean you know, you've said this for, I want to, he's like, I want to be supportive of you, but you've said this for like 10 years in a row where, you know, I'm going to start it, I'm going to start it, then you start it for a week and then you don't. He's like, what do I need to do to help you be consistent like that? Which was really sweet of Alex. So anyway, my doctor basically said the same thing to me. He was like, you know, I feel like you lost this weight from the medicine change and, you know, after the accident and then the pancreatitis and then the medicine change after the pancreatitis. And he was like, and then it just kind of like plateaued. And I was like, I haven't done any work. Like I'm eating like crap. Like I know. Right. And he was like, well, we, we need to, we need to start this. Like I'm getting concerned. And so I made a commitment to him that I would start this on Monday. Um, I decided to kind of share that journey on my Peter Does Stuff channel because I, I'm always very hesitant. Like I talk about it over here all the time, right? Like my weight and my struggles and stuff like that. But I haven't, like years ago, I like, I think I started my Peter Rosen's channel to be a weight loss channel. That's how long this is. I mean, this has been going on since I was in like late middle school to early high school that I've been struggling. I mean, I've struggled with my weight almost my entire life, you know? And so I, a couple times on YouTube, it's been, it's been quite some time. I've been like, okay, I'm going to do this weight loss journey. I'm going to share the journey online. And then, of course, I failed. And so I was like, I'm not going to do that anymore because I just feel completely like the world's biggest idiot and I struggle. And, I mean, you know, either I'm going to do it or I'm not going to do it. But I think at this point, like, me sharing that journey on YouTube and, and not like that's not what I'm turning that channel into. It would be like once a week I'll talk about it, Right. But, like, I think that that might be an accountability factor or hold me accountable, you know? Um, but I also want to talk about all the struggles that I'm having, all the successes that I'm having, things like that. So, I mean, I don't know what that'll look like. I have no idea. But it's not like I'm going to be like, yes, and I'm going to lose 60 pounds in two months. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what that's going to look like. But I think that I need the accountability factor. So I'm going to share that on my Peter Dust Stuff channel. But anyway, he was concerned. He was like, you know, like, I don't want this to go back up the other way and you be back to where you were before. I was actually, I, to like put this video together, I was looking through my fitness pal. I've kept my fitness pal. Like I, I haven't, like I don't weigh myself every single day, but like I've kept it for, actually I just took some screenshots. So hold on a second. I will tell you the year that I started my fitness pal. I have pretty consistent, um, pretty consistent. Where is it? At? I found this new YouTuber that I love, by the way, that I'm going to shout out my drama video on. Monday. She has like 200 subscribers and I'm like absolutely love her. The pillows that I got are called the Luxury Bamboo Pillows by Cozy House Collection. They have a rating of 9.7 out of 10. We'll see. The article was the best pillows of 2024. These will transform your sleep. I have a feeling this was like a total, oh it does say sponsored advertising content. Well I fell right into that didn't I? Okay. Um, so the first time, okay, my very first weigh-in date was February 17th of 2012. So we got married in August. That would have been after that. And I was 238 pounds when I first weighed in. And then I also have in here my lowest weight, my highest weight, and things like that that I've taken through the years. So even though uh, my fitness pal or whatever it's called hasn't really, is that what it's called? Hasn't really helped me that great. At least I have a history of what my weight is. And it's so interesting because the majority of my weight like through the years, I have been um, 
I would say like between 235 and 250 consistently from that point. You know, and that's heavy. And so then I got higher and then after the accident I lost some weight and then maintained and then after when I had pancreatitis I lost more weight and then I maintained and then in the last month I've like aggressively gained some weight and I can't go back the other way. Like I just can't, you know? Um I'm mean, on a very superficial level. I've literally gotten rid of all my clothes <laughs> and my jeans are starting to fit a little tight and so are my hoodies. So it's like I've got, <laughs> on a superficial level, I'm not buying all new clothes again that I just, you know, got rid of and donated because I didn't want to, you know. But on a very, like, health level, I've, I've got to, you know, like, figure this out. And um, so, yeah. So that'll be this week. But anyway... After the doctor's appointment, we went and picked up Boo's medicine because Boo's medicine was ready for his arthritis. Who's that over there? And then, I feel like this is my neighbor's friend that I go swimming to the pool with sometimes. And then, um, Alex wanted to get... <laughs> oh, my neighbor's coming out. She must be going somewhere with her friend. And then my, um, so y'all know this is going to be a banger week, weekend on eating, okay? Like, I'm not even going to act like it's not. <laughs> so, um, which I know is totally not the right attitude to have, but it is what it is. So last night, Alex was like, I really want nachos. I'm like, where do you want them from? He wanted to go to Cheesecake Factory and have nachos. I was like, okay. So we were driving home. He's like, ooh, or I could really go for, like, fried rice and noodles and because uh, right in front of Cheesecake Factory is, what's that place called? We used to go to Payway, which was like the the quicker version of it. Why can't I think of what that place is called? Mar not Mark Pies. What's the place that has the, you know, the horse in front of it and all that kind of stuff? Mark Pies. No. What is that Chinese restaurant called? I can't remember what it's called. Listen to them, like, she cannot figure out this car. She's got some kids, that must be for her granddaughter. She's got some kid's chair or something. Chinese, what is this restaurant called? Why can I not remember? P.F. Chang's, God. I'm not a big P.F. Chang, Chang's fan. P.F. Chang's fan, I have to tell you. My husband loves P.F. Chang's like nobody's business, okay? He always gets chicken fried rice and then he gets dang dang noodles to take home. He loves it. I think it is way overrated and I don't think that it has enough uh, flavor to it and things like that. And um, I'm like wanting to say something to her friend because I haven't seen her friend in so long. But look, I don't even think they see me sitting here right now. Oh, it looks like they're having some kind of like little party or something because she's bringing like a casserole in or something. Maybe they're having like a party or something tonight. The little card party, women's party thing kind of. But anyway, um, so, so yeah, so he was like, ooh, or fried rice. And I was like, God, I don't want P.F. Chang's. <laughs> and um, Caroline goes to, with our friends that were like her mom and dad's best friends. Caroline still goes out to dinner with them a lot. And that was who we had brunch with was the wife. They were like my aunt and uncle's like dearest, dearest, dearest friends. Caroline grew up with their kids. Her daughters are, their daughters are older than Caroline by like four or five years. Lived in the same neighborhood right around here and stuff like that. My mom was, like they were in the room when my mom passed away. They were very, very close with my mom and things like that. They've just been like, she's the one that makes the stuffing every year. The, the, uh, it's Carol stuffing that she makes, you know? And so, um, and so, Caroline and, and Mike go out to dinner with them and, and David and his girlfriend go out to dinner to this like little Thai place in the strip mall. And so it was right there and I was like, well, we should try this Thai place. Caroline always goes there. Alex loves Thai food. I was like, we should try it. So we went there and Alex usually goes to this Thai place in Fishers and we love it. It's great, right? So we go there last night. We're the only ones in there. The people were fantastic that work there. I mean, 
there's nothing exciting about the place. It's literally, you know, like vinyl booths and whatever. But um, everybody that was working in there were so nice. So I was like, I want to get something different than I usually did. So I got um, veggie fried rice to bring home. And then I got um, red, veggie spring rolls. But then I was like, my mom, so my favorite meal that my mom used to make me when I was like growing up as a kid was, it was called chicken curry. And it was kind of, it wasn't like Thai or anything like that. It was like a, what do you call it? It was like a casserole kind of. And it had like pieces of like breast of chicken cut up and then it had like broccoli and it had something else and it had, but it had a curry taste to it. And I loved it. It was like my favorite thing that my mom made and she would make it with like garlic bread and whatever, right? Or she'd have garlic bread on the side. And so it was like, I'm, and they had like red curry, green curry, yellow curry. And I was like, okay. And it's like a yellow curry was what my mom used to make. She like bake it in the oven and stuff. It was like a casserole. It was delicious. I used to, every year for my birthday, I'd be like, mom, can you make me chicken curry? I loved it. And it had like, I think it had rice in it and stuff like that too. So I was like, I think I want a curry. So I had, um the yellow curry last night, which was like delicious. It was like this bowl with like curry in it. And then it had like um, potatoes and onions and stuff like that. And um, it was so good. It was so good. I hadn't had curry like that in a long time. I am like a huge curry fan. Like I love like anything, you know, that um, has curry in it. So that was fun. Alex got at the place, he got pad thai to take home and then he got fried rice there. So I have fried rice inside as well. So yeah, so that was, then we went to that and then I came home and I was really like, we didn't get home too late if you want to know the truth. Like we got home at like, it was like 5, 5.30 or something like that when we got home and I thought, well I could probably vlog for like a half an hour but I was kind of tired in all honesty. I was like, um, I mean I wasn't like exhausted but I was kind of like just like so relaxed and we had had such a good afternoon. My doctor's appointment went well, you know, we had like driven around, got booze medicine, had a nice dinner, got home, took Boo Radley out. I was like, I think I'm just not going to vlog today. So that was why I didn't vlog yesterday. There was like really nothing other than that. Um, and it was just a really, really great day. And I appreciate you guys totally understanding me like taking a day off. It was really, I really appreciate it. Um, and so... I can't remember what I did. Maybe that was when I was talking to Tanya on the phone. I was talking to somebody. And then I went upstairs and I lay down about, it was about 6.30. And Alex was like on his phone. And then he like plugged in his phone. I go, are you going to sleep right now? And he was like, yeah. He goes, <laughs> he said something, he made some joke about sleeping through the night. I go, are you really? He's like, oh no, probably not. And then he ended up sleeping through the night. <laughs> and then I can't remember what time I got up, but I gave Boo, I took Boo Radley out around nine-ish. And gave him his medicine and stuff. And then Boo and Alex like slept straight through. Like I came up, like I said, and took a shower and put on my, like, you know, did my skincare routine and put on my clean pajamas and all that kind of stuff. And, um, well, sweatpants and a hoodie. <laughs> That's winter pajamas in this, in this house. And, um, and like, I mean, I went over and like, and Boo Rally just like lifted his head up a little bit. Like they were dead asleep. Boo Rally was cuddled right into Alex. It was so sweet. They slept straight through the night though. And then I watched my shows and all that kind of stuff. It was a good day yesterday. It was a real good day yesterday. So yeah. Night before, when was that? Yesterday was, is today Friday or is today Saturday? Today's Saturday, so that was Friday. The day before was Thursday. I don't remember what I watched on TV on Thursday. It doesn't really matter though. So yeah, so that's it. How are you guys doing? You guys doing well? This bird's making me think that spring is around the corner, but I know that we're gonna have some more winter left. I have to be honest with you guys. I don't, like my neighbor across the street, she still has her Christmas baskets out. And, oh my God, do you know what Caroline did? So Caroline bought this thing from Costco or something like it too. I still have them up here. It's these, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, it's these little things right here that have like the cranberries and stuff in it. So Caroline knew that my neighbor across the street, she asked if she could have that stuff for me last year. So when Caroline threw hers out, she pulled out like the sticks and like the cranberries and stuff. So I didn't even know this. When Caroline picked me up this week, she like took it over there and gave it. Wasn't that sweet? But anyway, she got her baskets and stuff up and um, she's got the little like thing of like snowman family, Mrs. Snowman, Mr. Snowman and like little baby snowman over there. But we're like the only two in the neighborhood and I think it's time for Christmas to come down. And as much as I feel bad for this bird, 
I don't think the bird is really staying in the wreath that much. <laughs> like some days, like I notice that the bird comes, it seems to be like when I'm vlogging more, the bird comes around here if I'm out here vlogging. But if I can, like going in and out, taking boo out here, sometimes the bird flies away or whatever. So I'm gonna wait and see on Wednesday. If I notice that the bird is coming around a lot, then I'm gonna leave the wreath on and get everything else down. Um, but I, I can't leave the wreath up to, to March. I just can't. I know I feel bad for the bird, but I don't really know what to do. Um, I just, I, I can't leave a Christmas wreath up <laughs> going into Feb. I don't, I know it's like, I feel bad for the bird. I don't really know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I feel like I need to get like a bird like house and like hang it underneath our thing because so many birds want to come here and sleep. And I think like we have a rock on top of the the carriage light, wherever the carriage light is, because birds were making nests on there. And Alex is like, no more, we're not doing that. And you know, that was with Mrs. Birdie and stuff like that. Because we couldn't walk in and out, because every time we would walk in and out, like all these birds would fly out and stuff like that. And so Alex was like, no. So we put a rock on top of the carriage light so they can't build a, a nest on there anymore. But I kind of feel like, maybe not over there, but like Fernalicious, people were asking about the, 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 um, the plants the other day, did I say? Fernalicious is doing great. I mean, she still looks like she did out here. She looks green, she's growing a little bit. I just watered her last night. The palm trees, not so great. Like part of them are like brown and brittle and part of them are like green and brand new. So I don't know what's going on with them. I'm just fingers crossed that they'll make it to the spring. I'm like, I don't really know what's gonna happen when I put them out there in the spring though, like or the summer. Like it's not like they're just gonna bloom overnight, you know, and that all the dead stuff's gonna go away. Um, the thing is that they're so like packed in there in the bathtub that I'm like people are like you need to get rid of the brittle stuff and all that kind of stuff. But the problem is is that some of the new stuff is coming out of the brittle. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to like get online and like read about that and all kind of stuff. Oh, I should have my neighbor next door come over and like help me with that because she knows how to do all that plant stuff. So anyway, but she's got like lights and like watering deals and all this kind. Of, she's got her whole like guest bedroom is all dedicated to all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Fernalicious. Oh, so I feel like I need to put like maybe like a birdhouse out here, like a hanging birdhouse somewhere where birds can go in and live like in the winter, but I don't know where I would put it. I feel like it needs to be over here somewhere so that maybe I put it over like there so that when you walk out of the house, like it scares them, I think, you know, being if their nest is right here or the wreath is right here. I feel bad, like to be honest with you, if I didn't think that my neighbors would care, I would just leave the wreath up there till summer, in all honesty, right? Um, the other thing I'm kind of starting to wonder though is, is it a she and she's gonna build a, a nest in the wreath? And then we've got like two months of that, you know? And um, so I'm like, well, maybe I need to get rid of the wreath before she like, feels so safe here she she builds a nest and then there's babies and then I'll and then I'll you know how I am with all that I won't be getting rid of the the wreath and then it's April and we've got a Christmas wreath on our front porch I mean I don't know what to do you know like <laughs> the tough decisions of of a Christmas wreath for birds you know a tough decision so I don't know I don't know what would you guys do put it let me know in the comment section below what you would do and uh, about the bird put a little emoji of a bird if you made it this far your favorite favorite bird emoji <laughs> do you have a favorite bird emoji <laughs> all right you guys listen i'm gonna get off here my legs I've, I've got um my i have to tell you okay i bought these like i think i bought them like a year or two ago two years ago and i never wore them last year they're like the fuzzy faux fur birkenstocks and this year i have gotten so much use out of them i love them now, I also have two pairs of um, the faux fur Birkenstock sandals. I have blue pair and I have a brown pair. I've never, I've never wear those, but I guess I should. I guess I should bring them down because these are like perfect for taking out, <laughs> taking Boo Radley out at night. So I wear my plastic Birkenstock sandals in the house, but then I keep these by the door, like right by, by where, you know, keep her keys and the mirror and stuff like that. And then if I take Boo Radley out or I come out here or whatever, I like put them on. They're super warm and they're super cozy, but I have no socks on, so my ankles are getting kind of cold. <laughs> so I'm gonna get off here now and um, go inside and start getting rendering this and get this up, and then we're back to Vanderpump Rules, baby. We're back to Vanderpump Rules for the night. And uh, wish me luck that I make it through through the weekend. And like I said, I won't be filming tomorrow, um, but I'll be back on Monday, at least with a drama video, uh, a Peter Nesta video, and a vlog. Those three will at least be filmed on Monday. So, 
And I haven't filmed a Peter Rosen's video in a while, so at least that too. Um, so that's four that I'll like bang out, you know. I'm not leaving until later in the day for my um, therapy appointment, so I should be able to get all that stuff done. Who knows, I might post seven videos on Monday. <laughs> or I might take the day off, who knows, we don't know, right? We'll wait and see what happens on Monday. But that's my plan right now, is to post. I mean, I've literally got a list of all the videos I'm gonna make on all of my channels on Monday, if that, if I should have the time. So, anyway, um, I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing um, Saturday and a fantastic weekend so far. I hope that you're relaxing and enjoying your weekend. Again, thank you guys so much for your support and your kind words. I, it means so much more than I can even explain to you guys. You have no idea. I mean, so much more than you even know. I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And remember these three very important things. One, somebody's running down the street. See, that's motivation. I, I, I need to be getting running down the street. Maybe not today, but coming up this next week. Maybe not running, walking. Anyway, well, we'll just, we need to slow it down a little bit, okay? Anyway, remember these three very important things. One, you can start your day over whenever you want. Two, practice, or your week or weekend if you need to start your week or weekend over. Two, I'm like craving curry now after talking about that. <laughs> Two, practice random acts of kindness, but shh, don't tell anyone. And three, most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much I mean to you. Like I always say, you never know. You might be putting a smile on their face. You might be making them happy. You might be the only call or text they get today. You might be making them feel not so all alone. So it's a nice thing to do, right? And, uh, and it costs absolutely nothing. Also, be kinder to one another, love one another a little bit more. And most importantly, be kinder to yourself and love yourself a little bit more. Because if you're kinder to yourself, you'll be kinder to others more. And if you love yourself more, you'll love others more as well. So it's easy, right? Maybe not so easy, but we can work towards that. And um, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you. I'm taking tomorrow off, so I'll see you on Monday. I love you guys, and I'll see you then. Bye. Love you. Oh, and for those that, for anybody that wants to hear it, one more I love you. I love you guys, and I'll see you in uh, my next vlog. Bye. Love you. Happy birthday, Lena.